So anyway, my job ended here in uh, St. Joseph, Michigan, working with Harmon Construction. Um, good possibility they might call me back to come work there at another site, but but right now I'm we'll be heading up to Owasso, Michigan, to where I'll be working for McNully M C N U L L Y Crane Rentals. They use me a lot there. They pay pretty good too. And uh, all I do is uh, work as an oiler for there. Just drive a semi, follow the crane, and help the crane set up. Then go up, signal him where he needs to be, and everything. So that's it. So like I said, I'm on my way to pick up the car, Dolly. It is Wednesday morning. It looks cloudy. It actually, looks like it might actually rain. So wife is home right now, uh, doing the last of the laundry. We are. Plus, she's getting her job done, which her job is the inside, mine's the outside, which I got to take down the awning, put the landing gears up, landing gears, <laughs> uh, leveling hydraulic system up. We call it landing gears because it feels like, you know, cockpit in there. And then the slide outs and then get all the chairs and everything in this car because this is an all-wheel drive, can't be towed unless I get the vehicle towed. When I drive the whole vehicle up on, I'm not gonna pay that much for that thing. But this actually might be our last time renting a dolly because me and my wife talked about it. As much as we rented this thing, we could have paid for our own by now. So, good. There's a good couple cheap ones on Facebook in the marketplace area. And plus, there's a dealer in Hudsonville that's actually pretty cheap on them. So, we are gonna look around tonight or tomorrow, but we're gonna buy one by the end of the week, so, all right, see ya. check in, grab the dolly, and then head back to the RV, load up my, load up this, no, load up my wife's car, hopefully she has the inside done and I can do the outside, and we should be in and out, should be out of the resort we're at in probably about an hour and a half after I get back, alright, be back. Okay people, had a little issue here at U-Haul getting the dolly trailer. And I'm a little ticked about it, but I'm trying not to show it. Okay, only thing I'm going to say is U-Haul. Look at the manufacturer sticker for towing capacity, and you won't have any more problems. Okay? Thank you. Okay, I probably just were like, well, what happened, people? Seriously, what happened? Okay, what happened was the U-Haul sent me here to pick up a tow dolly. 
said it was registered. Well, when I get here checking, the lady's like, I can't give you that dolly because the tow radius is not compatible. And I'm like, okay. She goes, but I'm going to give you, you know. So she called, talked to the same guy I talked to. And sorry, I'm watching the mechanic. Well, anyway, he comes, he gets on the phone, they hash it out. She tells him what other ones he have, and he goes, okay, that's compatible. Go ahead and give him that one. So, anyway, get it. Then they come to find out the passenger side turn table was, like, gone. Doesn't work. But come to find out it's just the ground. He's fixing it now. You've probably seen him in the background. So, anyway, well, while she was dealing on the phone, me and the mechanic walked out here, took a look at it, and we're like, okay, what's going on? Because the manufacturer stickers on both of them were the same. So, that one... So before she got on the phone, I went up there and I'm like, hey, are you still on the phone with Mike? She goes, yeah. And she goes, tell him the manufacturer sticker is the same on both. And he's like, well, it doesn't matter what the manufacturer sticker says. Actually, people, it does matter what the manufacturer sticker says. If it says this, it can hold up to a 5,000 5, pound weight, it can. Or trust me, the manufacturer wouldn't put it on it. Okay, so pretty much that's what happened. So now I've been, you know, yeah, oh my God, almost two hours. Almost here, two hours getting this stuff dealt with and I still got 45 minutes to drive, no, it wasn't that long, probably 30 minutes to drive back to the RV. My wife was already called, wanting to know where I'm at, why is it taking so long? So I informed her and she's like, oh my God. So we are definitely buying our own dolly now. No offense, but we're buying it ourselves. That way, if something goes wrong, I fix it. So, all right. I'll do some more filming on the way back. So, you know, I know how to get back. So, not worry about it. All right. Later. All right, everybody. Uh, they ended up hooking us up to the other dolly instead. And after a bunch of electrical issues and everything, we actually got it for free. I actually called the uh, customer service guy back. Mike was his name. He was very helpful. After some discussion about the weight restrictions and what the manufacturer sticker says and me telling them that even if y'all were selling this, I'd still buy the one I got now due to fact from what the weight manufacturer sticker says because it would haul my wife's car no problem. So, needless to say, after this discussion and almost two almost two and a half hours sitting there i said so can i get this discount?" he goes we're just gonna give it to you for free today he goes i hope we didn't lose your business or anything and i'm like no because we're still you know until we actually have enough money saved up to buy a new one that's pretty much what we're probably do but you know by the time we rent a bunch of these dollies we would have had the money so i think me and my wife decided we might just go ahead and buy one so that way we know what's wrong with it don't have to worry about it i can at least fix the lights myself and everything but that was it so now i'm heading back to the rv bye
right into their RV lot. So. back at the RV so we're gonna finish getting everything packed up and ready to go and then I'll update this video when we're on the road well everybody I'm actually impressed my wife actually got a whole bunch done so what exactly did you leave me to do then Poop. What? the poop lines oh yeah that's one thing she vowed never ever to touch ain't that right all right well then I'll get busy bye